What does a burning match have to do with the OverUnity device called Cutie Pie? Watch this video and you'll find out. Before we uh, get too carried away with the burning match and uh, how that actually is a uh, over unity device, um, I want to um, review uh, some videos here from uh, the group that has been uh, put, putting together a uh, uh, over unity device called the QT Pi. Uh, see below for description and for the links but basically on uh, March 2017 uh, Sasha Stone came out with a big announcement to the world that he had discovered uh, free energy technology and he was going to give it away to the world. I can tell you now that we have secured absolute free energy technology that we will be gifting, gifting to every single household or New Earth community or New Earth Haven anywhere in the world. And then uh, a month later in April 2017, uh, he announced uh, and had a demo uh, on the last day of a conference in uh, Bali. So I'll ask my assistant Isabella to switch it on. Okay, Dale. There we have the cutie pie. Um, Frederick is demonstrating a, a, a four, just over 400% over Unity or cop times more going out than coming in. Correct. And then uh, in June uh, 2017, um, a slick video was put together. The link is below as well, and they promote uh, uh, the QT Pi device and how it's going to solve all the world's problems in terms of energy and uh, the uh, the couple of guys behind this uh, device uh, one is uh, Warren Hanchi uh, he seems to have a business and uh, accounting background he's not an engineer according to some information on his LinkedIn page uh, and the uh, the uh, the other guy Frederick uh, Stimmel uh, he does appear to have a college degree uh, in engineering, but I want to show you now why uh, the measurements that was demonstrated in Bali are totally wrong. Uh, it's not a free energy device, and I threw together a small uh, demonstration here with three light bulbs and a, transmit, a transformer, and I'm going to show you how this little off-the-shelf uh, piece of electronic components here can be set up to produce uh, higher current output than current input and uh, I have this little test gadget here that uh, can measure the current and we've got some uh, uh, American house current going into the white wire here going into the transformer and we're going to see what current is actually going into the transformer here. Uh, we have three light bulbs over here and we've got a transformer with a variable output there and I simply hook uh, or clamp I should say uh, the measurement device to the uh, one of the wires here on the input and I can measure 0.29 amps on the input and on the output, I measure 0.83 amps. You see, this is like more than two times current on the output compared to the input. And there's no magic here. Uh, this is just, like I said, an ordinary, well, it's not quite ordinary. It's a variable output transformer. It's called an auto transformer. But there's three ordinary light bulbs here. Uh, they're running at less than uh, their rated uh, uh, power, but uh, this is for demonstration purposes how you can actually set up things to run with more current coming out of a device than current going into the device. There is no power amplification here, it's just a transformer, ordinary transformer.
the measurements they made in Bali to demonstrate this overunit device is just uh, not relevant. It's not giving the whole story. What you need is three, three measurements when you measure an electronic device and maybe even more. You need the current uh, and you need the voltage, but you also need the phase of the um, the device between the current and voltage. And most people, they have no clue uh, what the difference is between voltage and current and certainly not what is phase, electronic, f uh, electric phase between voltage and current and then you get into frequencies issues sorry guys I don't want to talk too uh, technical here uh, with lots of technical terms but uh, gadgets like this have a frequency bandwidth or limit they cannot measure correctly um, voltage and current above a certain frequency limit and uh, this is a very low frequency unit it's a 50 to 60 hertz depending on whether we run this in the US or in Europe um, but it sounded from the video like the Acuity Pi was uh, a high frequency unit and these these ordinary off-the-shelf gadgets uh, don't measure uh, correctly these high frequency uh, transformers and the cutie pie actually looks very much like a rodent coil uh, or a uh, vortex coil uh, put together by Daniel Nances in, uh, I think he's in New York. Uh, and he also runs uh, high frequency series devices and uh, uh, he's been around for years and there's uh, of course no, no magic there, there's no over unity, there's no free energy. Uh, sucking from the quantum vacuum and all this uh, weird uh, techno speak that they hopefully try to dazzle their audience with. Uh, they're just looking at ordinary transformers, you know, you can wind the coil backwards and forwards and sideways and in a helix and any way you want, but it ends up being just a transformer and a transformer without getting too technical just converts between voltages and currents in a different ratio um, I don't want to dive into that whole uh, electronics uh, lecture right now but I'll make another video where I explain how you can make correct measurements of any kind of device whether it's a transformer or a free energy device or or something else um, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, just take the cutie pie with a huge pinch of salt because they don't know how to measure the, the wattage or the power correctly. And uh, so far, there has been no follow-up on this. They have made no, no proof of uh, any over-unity effects. You should simply ask, will it self run will it run by itself and the logic is just pure common sense if somebody claims this red little box here device and it's a transformer or anything else puts out more power more wattage than is put in logic tells us that you should be able to take part of this power and feed it back into the input with a proper conversion of course uh, and if that's not possible, uh, it, uh, it just means that it's not over unity. And um, that's a very simple test. Can the device be self-running? If it is, um, then you got an over unity device. But if it's not possible to self-run, forget it. Just move on. That's not it's not what it claims to be. Just like uh, in the old days or a hundred years ago when the Wright brothers uh, proposed to build a flying machine with uh, heavier than the air flight um, and they had plans and ideas to do so, it will be very prudent to ask the simple question, where's the evidence? Same with the um, cutie pie and the uh, any other free, uh, claim of free energy from a free energy devices where is the evidence don't just take some inventors word for it or a simple measurement with a current meter electricity current meter that's just not gonna fly
there are so many ways you can tweak things to make things look um, better than it really is. Did you know that a match and the striking plate of a match is in fact an OVUnity device? The energy that I'm putting into striking the match to create heat to set off the burning so it creates and uh, releases a lot of energy is an OVUnity device. <laughs>